this is some pretty freaking good corned beef. Welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to be doing a smoked corned beef, cabbage, carrots, and potatoes. I know I'm a little late for the party, but it is never a bad time to make corned beef and cabbage. I'm gonna probably be smoking this like you would do a pork butt, get it up to about 150, and then cover it and cook it to about 200 the rest of the way. All right, let's stop all the talking and let's get to making this corned beef. Okay, I got the corned beef brisket all rinsed off and now we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now let's get the bottom. All right, we're gonna be cooking this fat side up. And I did not trim any of this fat because all of this fatness is goodness. Just like they say, fat is flavor. And this fat on the corned beef brisket has awesome flavor, and I love it. All right, we're going to be using the awesome Z-Grills to be smoking this corned beef. Let's get the Z-Grills heated up to 250 degrees, and we'll get this corned beef brisket on. I'll bring it back in a second. All right, we're about to 250. It's about time to get this corned beef put on the smoker. As you can see, I still have my pellet grill insulating blanket on the Z-Grills. I do have one for my Traeger as well. If you smoke in cold climates, which it can get cold here, really cold here sometimes, mostly a mild winter climate, but it does get cold, this insulating blanket will help manage your heat, make you go through less pellets, and it's a well worth investment if you're going to be smoking out year round and in the cold. All right, let's get this corned beef on. And I put it on this raised rack that I got off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. It'll help keep the corned beef a little bit further away from the heat and off the main rack. Okay, the corned beef is on. We're probably gonna let this ride a couple hours and then we'll come back and check the temperature and see where we're at. I'll see you back in a couple hours. All right, it's been two hours, sitting at 250 degrees. We're currently sitting at a temperature of 144 degrees internal. It's time to get this off of the smoker, get it into the foil pan, add the cabbage, the carrots, the potatoes, the broth, and get everything all covered up and get it put back on the smoker so it can sit there and braise. All right, let's get this off. Nice, nice, nice and juicy. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is add some beef broth or beef stock, whichever you prefer. And I'll probably use this whole container. Now we're going to add some potatoes. And 
And now we're going to add the carrots. And now we're going to add the cabbage. All right, let's get it all covered up. All right, let's get it back on the smoker. All right, there we have it. We'll come back and check on it in a couple hours. And I forgot to put it in the seasoning. Get this opened up and I'll put the seasoning in. All right, shut her down again. Okay, for the second half of the cook, I raised the smoker temp up to 300. We've been cooking the corned beef and all the vegetables and everything for two and a half hours covered at 300 degrees. And we are currently sitting at 203 degrees internal temperature for the corned beef. Let's open this up and take a look and see what we got. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, let's temp the meat. We're about 201 with this. Oh, that's nice and tender. About 203. 204. Carrots are good, cabbage is good, oh potatoes are super super soft, look at that, pushes right in there, cabbage is super soft, alright let's get this inside and plate it up. All right, it's time to get this corned beef cut up. Let's see how we did. Oh, beautiful color. Okay, let's pull it apart and see how we did. Oh yeah, see those fibers stretching? That's how you know it's done. Look at that. Alright, let's get some of this cabbage up here. Nicely done. A few carrots. A few 
potatoes. And there you have it, a perfect St. Patrick's Day meal. Now we got to give this corned beef a taste test. Now you know that. Look at all that fat right there. That is nothing but flavor. All right, let me bring you up top. All right, let's give it a go. Still steaming. Mmm. Oh, that is some good tasting corned beef. Salt and pepper on the outside, a little bit of smoke flavor. This is freaking delicious. If you don't have a smoker, you can always do this in the oven with the same temps and the times that I used here. First two hours was 250 degrees. Then I added all the vegetables and the beef broth, covered it up. I raised the smoker up to 300 degrees for the next two and a half hours. Got the corned beef up to 203 degrees, pulled it off, let it sit for a little bit, sliced it, and you saw how it turned out. That was some good corned beef right there. And this fat, awesome. Mm. All right, everybody. I hope you had a great St. Patrick's Day. We're just doing ours right now. And I thank everybody for watching. If you're new here and you like what I do, please consider subscribing. To all my regular subscribers, I really, really do appreciate you all. Thank you very much for watching. And I will... Definitely catch you on the next one. And as I always say, if I can cook it, you can cook it. Stop making boring food. I got faith in all of you. Take care, everybody. I'll catch you on the next one. Mmm.